Hey guys, I uh, want to make a video here showing you the new gunny sack feature and I'll be making a lot of videos around gunny sacks. So what is a gunny sack and why do we do them? So uh, I just thought I'd bring up an example of doing an old house. So whenever I do an old house, I always sort of dread the windows. Because usually they're sort of fine and working, but you know, we're supposed to document their condition and I find that, you know, there's single pane glass, there's missing window hardware, there's missing sash weights, there's guillotine windows that the whole sash will slam shut, um, there's cracked panes of glass, there's loose hardware, there's missing hardware, there's windows painted shut. And if you're like a lot of home inspectors, you end up with like this long list of different repair items, you know, um, and you end up with like seven or eight different repairs under windows. And to me, it's just kind of one system with a bunch of different defects. So let me show you how I report on that. I think it'll help the, the gunny sack feature make a lot of sense and why it actually condenses your report a lot. It's a lot faster for the home inspector. And frankly, I just think it's a lot more accurate. Rather than having seven or eight comments under Windows, you just have one that, you know, a bunch of repairs are needed. So I'm going to use this inspector only note that I built for old wood windows that you know, gunny sack. So I'm going to check that. So we'll read it. Some of the windows in this home are, and this is um, text replacement. So I can double click on that. Some of the windows, all the windows, most of the windows, a few of the windows. Um, so some of the windows in this home are old wood windows that require maintenance and repair. You need to decide how you want to approach these windows in this home. They're generally older and do not comply with modern standards for safety glass and energy efficiency. Repairs can be made on an as needed basis and efficiency added with storm windows and curtains. Existing windows that have character are often worth preserving and restoring where windows that are in worse condition and have less character may be good candidates for replacement. The windows are in fairly typical condition for old windows wood windows and I might even replace wood let's just say for old old windows I'm gonna update the comment so that that's even better uh, so now here's my gunny sack and I'm gonna double click on this and I've made a whole list of all the stuff we run into so some of the windows in this home are not operating maybe painted shut missing glazing was noted that wasn't an issue here many of the windows are single pane glass now what's really cool about this feature is if I want to they will display in the order that I click them so I might start with the single pane pane to get glass comment <clears throat> uh, some of the windows may be painted shut we'll check that one uh, some of the windows are located in areas that would require safety glazing there were guillotine windows there were some disconnected sash ropes loose hardware missing hardware paint was fine uh, there were some cracked panes of glass so boom so I just added all of that specific stuff to that one comment and notice I'm not saying these are the only problems I'm just saying examples of repairs and observations noted during inspection so it's it, it's it's a nice way of um, being vague and specific simultaneously. So my procedure now when I'm on site with the mobile app is often when I see a system like this that's broken apart all over the place, I know how fast my gunny sacks are and I can do all this on the mobile. But I prefer to just save myself time when I'm on site and I just take a picture and caption it. Now I know people, you know, think that on site reporting is the holy grail, but you know watch how quick this is back on my desktop I can go through and highlight all these things so I'm grabbing all these pictures and dragging them in now you could have actually selected the gunny sack comment old wood windows I could have probably checked that right before I showed up and I could have actually just put all of those pictures in here as I went so either way either technique works but I'm finding that for speed it's almost just faster to just leave them in my gallery and dump them in later so now I've got these beautiful layers of information, a general statement, some more specific things noted. And then, you know, on the photo captions, I'm just trying to put the location of the issue noted. And we can resequence these if we want. Notice that we've got the missing sash weight. I could bring this one up uh, and we could open it up and even, you know, uh, and annotate the picture a little. describe it and again when I'm captioning I'm trying to just describe the defect and the location 
And that process on site saves me a ton of time knowing that I have this gunny sack in my back pocket. But look how much detail we added so quickly. We checked a few boxes, we dragged a few pictures in, and we've got, you know, 10 different pictures with Ten, um, a bunch of captions. You know, I, I might actually go through and caption the rest of these, but so you spend a few minutes on these things, but a lot of details super quickly. So hope that makes sense of why at Scribeware we've developed a completely new way of writing reports called the gunny sack. The other advantage this has is that rather than searching through millions of different comments, I'm just choosing one and I can choose the things that apply. So this is a really effective technique that can be used all over your reports. I'll show you some more examples in some future videos and I'll also make a video here coming up to show you how you build these. Thanks for watching.